Just minutes ago, we got this video that shows you what happens, how it unfolds. It was all caught on security camera. Sometimes, robbers think they have the upper hand. But when cashiers fight back, things don't always go as planned. From a robber who tries to pray his way out of a store after staff locks him inside to a thief getting stabbed seven times by a store owner, here are real robbers who messed with the wrong cashiers. Store owner stabs thief. This video from a Las Vegas vape store is hard to watch. It shows two juveniles, both wearing black ski masks, walking into the shop while another stands by the door. You can see the store owner looking suspicious and asking them why they had the masks on. When he told them to leave, one of the teens grabbed the tip jar and headed for the door. But things quickly went downhill when he came back, trying to take even more. It was at that moment the situation really escalated. The security footage shows one of the masked teens jumping over the counter, reaching for products on the shelf. The store owner was not about to overlook the situation. He grabbed a knife with a three-inch blade and without hesitation, stabbed the thief seven times. The teen, clearly in shock, shouted that he was dying before collapsing to the floor. The other two suspects fled, leaving their friend behind. Police were soon called to the scene. They arrested the juveniles, and the injured one was rushed to the hospital for treatment. What started as a robbery quickly turned violent, and the footage captured just how dangerous things can get when tensions rise. Calm clerk derails robbery in seconds. It was a quiet night on August 16, 2023, just after 9 p.m., when a white Nissan Altima pulled up to a store in Fountain Valley. Security cameras caught it all. A man wearing a mask and hoodie exited the passenger seat and made his way towards the store. The clerk inside observed the entire scene unfold on the security camera, sensing that trouble was about to arrive. As the robber entered brandishing a gun, he aimed it directly at the clerk behind the counter. He immediately demanded to know where the money was. He kept asking for it, shouting and trying to scare the clerk. But the clerk kept his cool and didn't panic. Then, in a split second, the clerk reached for something hidden by the register, a handgun of his own. He quickly pointed it at the robber. The tables turned fast. The man, clearly startled, backed away and bolted for the exit. The clerk wasn't done. He ran after the thief, chasing him into the parking lot. But before he could catch him, the robber jumped into the waiting car which sped off. It was a close call, and things could have ended much worse. But thanks to the clerk's quick thinking, the danger passed as fast as it came. Woman confronts thief with gun. In March 2016, everyone in a small Georgia town couldn't stop talking about Bumika Patel. She ran a local convenience store, and something wild happened there. One morning, a man came in, acting like he was going to buy a canned drink. As you can see from the surveillance video, everything seemed normal at first. But while Patel was focused on her computer, the man suddenly pulled out a gun and pointed it at her. Instead of freezing, she decided to take matters into her own hands. As the thief reached for the money, Patel pushed the gun away. She then slammed the cash drawer onto his head. Not stopping there, she quickly grabbed a hammer from under the counter. The man ran for the door. He didn't just leave without the cash. He also lost a shoe in his panic to escape. Patel, meanwhile, shared the security footage with her customers, proud of how she stood her ground and defended her store. Thieves flee after facing armed 73-year-old in jewelry store. A group of thieves tried to rob a jewelry store in Pleasant Hill, California. The store sold rings, watches, and expensive jewelry, making it a prime target. But things didn't go as the robbers planned. Surveillance footage shows a woman walking through the store. She seemed to be scouting the place, checking out the security cameras while talking on the phone. It was clear she wasn't alone. After scoping things out, the woman left the store. You can see her here stalling to try and keep the security guard from shutting the door on this group of men. The men forced the door open and charged in. One of them even had a sledgehammer. The robbers ran straight to the jewelry section, ready to grab whatever they could. But they didn't expect to meet a 73-year-old worker holding a revolver. The sight of the gun stopped them in their tracks, and they quickly turned around and fled the store. They rushed back to two waiting cars. Before they sped off, a police vehicle arrived on the scene. But officers couldn't chase them, and the criminals got away. Thanks to the brave worker, the store avoided what could have been a huge loss. 
Store employee, beat up thief. They say it's not so fun when the tables turn, and that's exactly what happened to a man trying to rob a 7-Eleven in California. Two employees decided they weren't going to let him get away with it. The video starts with the suspect. His head and face is covered with a blue t-shirt while he grabs a trash can. He begins stuffing it full of cigarette boxes, one after another. As he does this, he curses at the employees and even threatens to shoot them. Meanwhile, the man recording the video keeps saying there is nothing they can do while the thief loads up hundreds of dollars worth of goods. But things took a sharp turn when the suspect tried to push past one of the workers. One of the employees grabbed him, and that's when the second worker joined in, holding a stick. What followed was a beating the thief didn't see coming. The sound of the stick cracking against the man echoed through the store. He went from being cocky to pleading for mercy, saying he couldn't walk anymore and asking them to stop. After the beating, the man filming stepped in and led the would-be thief out of the store. He made sure the suspect knew he wasn't allowed back. On the way out, the suspect still had the nerves to ask if he could leave with a soda. The man behind the camera quickly told him no, adding a final touch to the robber's humiliating exit. What started as a bold attempt at theft ended with the suspect limping out, completely defeated. Phone store robbery gone wrong. It was a regular day in Chicago when a man walked into a cell phone store. He looked like any other customer and acted like he wanted to buy a phone. The owner didn't seem too worried at first, but everything changed when the man pulled out a gun and an empty bag. He wasn't there to buy a phone after all. The store owner, trying to stay calm, made a smart offer. He told the robber he could have a new phone if he would just leave. But that wasn't enough for this greedy thief. He forced the owner into the back, probably hoping to find more money or a safe. What he didn't realize was that there were more cameras watching him. The owner kept cool and helped load phones from the display. The robber thought he was in control, but the owner had something else in mind. As they moved toward the cash register, the robber got distracted by the money. At that moment, the owner saw his chance. He took it and hit the guy, hard. It was quick, and before long, the tables had turned. Now, the owner had the gun. The thief panicked, grabbed the bag, and made a run for it. But he made a big mistake. He ran straight into a room, thinking it was an exit. The owner quickly called 911. Following a moment of tension, the thief attempted to flee once more. However, the store owner was determined not to let him get away easily. They ended up struggling, with the owner putting up a fight and even getting caught up in a cord at one point. Ultimately, the robber managed to escape, but not with any stolen phones. The robber who met his match in a Missouri liquor store. In 2013, a guy in southwest Missouri thought he could pull off a liquor store heist, but things didn't go as planned for him. John Lewis Alexander was on duty at the counter when the robber strolled in, puffing away on a cigarette. Alexander coolly suggested he step outside with it. That's when the situation took a turn. Instead of leaving, the man pulled out a gun and demanded cash. He was unprepared for what unfolded next. Alexander, who had spent 30 years in the military with four tours in Iraq, wasn't just any clerk. He had also been a prison guard, a private investigator, and someone who knew how to handle federal prisoners. And of course, he owned a Walther PPX 9mm handgun. The security footage showed Alexander's quick reflexes. In one swift move, he pushed the robber's gun hand away with his left hand and drew his own gun with his right. He didn't hesitate, pointing it straight at the man's mouth. Alexander calmly warned him to leave before things got deadly. The robber thought about it for a second before deciding to walk out. Nobody got hurt, and no shots were fired. Later, the police told Alexander he was a lucky man, but Alexander had a different take on it. He believed the robber was the one who got lucky that day. Quick thinking clerk traps thieves. This next incident took place in Smethwick, Birmingham. A gang stormed into a small store, armed with large knives and ready to cause trouble. They immediately started threatening the staff, demanding money. In the CCTV footage, one of the masked robbers can be seen aggressively asking for cash while threatening to stab the shopkeeper. Despite the danger, the clerk made a bold move. He ran from behind the counter and smashed two bottles of wine on the floor. This threw off the robbers and allowed the man to run out of the shop. But he wasn't done yet. While leaving, the clerk pulled the door shut behind him, trapping the thieves inside the store. One of the robbers tried to force his way out, but a passerby wearing a motorcycle helmet stepped in to help by holding onto the door handle to stop it from opening. 
At one point, a person inside, who claimed to be just a bystander, started begging the store owner to let him out. But things quickly took a darker turn when the robber threatened him with a machete. Desperate to escape, the robber began smashing at the door with his knife. The supposed bystander was eventually ushered away by the main robber. In the end, the gang managed to flee through a bathroom window. Elderly store owner shoots thief. In a surprising twist, an elderly store owner took matters into his own hands during a robbery. The incident occurred at Norco Market and Liquor in the early morning hours, approximately 2.47 a.m. Security cameras captured a hooded individual entering the store and aiming an AR-15-style rifle directly at the 80-year-old man. The robber shouted for him to freeze and put his hands in the air. But the store owner, Craig Cope, didn't waste any time. Within seconds, he grabbed a shotgun from under the counter and fired at the robber, hitting him in the arm. The security video shows another man stepping out of a black BMW SUV parked outside. But as soon as he saw the first robber running out, screaming that his arm had been shot off, he quickly got back in the car. The SUV sped away with the injured suspect still shouting in pain. Later, the police tracked down the suspects at a hospital in Southern California. One of them had a gunshot wound that matched the blast from Craig's shotgun. Though Craig managed to stop the robbery, the aftermath was rough. His wife later shared with the media that her husband suffered a heart attack after the incident. Thankfully, she said he is expected to fully recover. In the end, the store owner's quick actions likely saved his life, proving once again that even at 80, he wasn't someone to mess with. Wounded Clerk Scares Off Bank Robbers At the start of this video, we see a masked robber walk into a private finance company in Pahawa, Haryana, India. It was lunchtime, and the office was empty, except for one clerk, Sandip Kumar, who was busy at his desk finishing some urgent work. The robber demanded cash, but Sandip told him he didn't have access to it. Frustrated, the robber walked over to where Kumar was and fired two shots at him. One bullet struck the clerk in the left arm, while the other hit his back. Despite the pain, Kumar didn't give up. He told the robber to leave, warning that other employees and customers would arrive soon. Surprisingly, the robber left. Moments later, his accomplice entered the office, but Kumar managed to scare him off too. Both men quickly fled the scene on a motorcycle with no license plate. Soon after, Kumar's colleagues found him and rushed him to the hospital. He was treated for his injuries and survived. Later, a local police officer confirmed the two robbers had made their escape, but the investigation was ongoing. Thief tries to pray, his way out of a sticky situation. This man, John Bell, had a plan to rob a store thinking it would be a walk in the park. However, the things that unfolded caught him off guard. The store employee, Katrina Leon, stayed calm. When Bell tried to get her to open the cash register, she simply refused. Then, she did something he wasn't ready for. She ran out, taking the customers with her, and locked the door behind them. What Bell didn't know was that the door could only be unlocked from the outside once it was closed. He was trapped inside, with no way to escape. The windows and the door had bars on them, turning the store into a cage. Realizing he was stuck, Bell tried to shoot his way out. He fired four times at the lock, but the bullets didn't do any damage. The door held firm. Frustrated, Bell threw himself at the door, hoping to break it down. That didn't work either. With no other options, Bell fell to his knees and began to pray. He begged for help, pleading over and over, apologizing and hoping someone would come to his rescue. His cries, however, were met with silence. The police showed up shortly after, and Bell's escape plan was officially over. He was arrested without any trouble. In a way, Bell had been behind bars before the cops even arrived. The store had turned into his own little jail cell, and there was no getting out. Quick thinking and a cool head won the day, with no violence needed, just a locked door and some patience. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. We have a dramatic image showing a tense moment of a robbery. On the left, we see two masked robbers armed and dressed in dark clothes. One of them is wearing a plaid shirt and bright yellow gloves. It looks like they were expecting an easy score, walking in confidently, rifles in hand. But these were robbers who messed with the wrong cashiers. On the right side of the image, things seem to take a surprising turn. Someone, possibly a brave employee or customer, appears to be fighting back, aiming a gun in return. It's a tense scene, and it makes you wonder, what would you do in such a situation? 
Would you stay calm when faced with something like this? Or is it too much to even imagine? The price of a bad decision. Back in March 2017, 27 years old Emmanuel Ham strolled into a small food mart in Columbus, Ohio. He had a handgun tucked under his long, shabby coat. The store clerk immediately felt something was off. Something about Ham's look made the worker uneasy. Later, the clerk would admit that he could tell something was up. The worker wasn't wrong. Ham had plans to rob the place, but little did he know the clerk was prepared for him. The moment Ham showed the weapon, the clerk swiftly drew his own gun and shot. In that split second, all the clerk could think about was his family. He would later share that the first thing that flashed through his mind was his kids. He wasn't going to let someone make him an easy target. Ham, injured and shocked, decided to run. He fled the scene in an effort to avoid getting caught, but his plan to escape didn't quite work out as he had hoped. Not long after, he made it to a hospital to get treatment for the gunshot wound on his hand. It was there that the police found him. The hospital staff had called the police when someone matching Ham's description walked in. Though Ham was hurt, his injury wasn't life-threatening. While it was expected that he would fully recover, this didn't mean was off the hook. Ham was soon arrested and later faced aggravated robbery charges. In court, a bond was set at $75,000. Looking back, if Ham had known how things would turn out, he probably would have stayed home that night. What seemed like an easy robbery turned into a mess he couldn't get out of. Silent treatment. This man in a red hoodie thought he had an easy target when he walked into a Florida Walgreens. It was a quiet Monday afternoon, and his plan seemed simple enough. Grab some candy, a little ice cream, and then rob the place. At first, it looked like a normal transaction. The man in the hoodie brought his snacks to the checkout and stood there while the cashier scanned them. But suddenly, he took out a gun and waved it in the cashier's face, demanding all the money from the register. However, the situation didn't unfold as the robber had anticipated. Rather than showing panic or fear, the store clerk remained completely silent. He didn't flinch or show any sign of movement. He simply gazed at the armed man. The stillness in the air must have felt heavy at that point. The employee's face stayed almost blank, as if the gun didn't even matter. The thief, now clearly frustrated, kept asking for the money. But no matter how much he waved the gun or demanded, nothing changed. The clerk's icy stare never broke, leaving the armed robber unsure of what to do next. After what felt like an eternity, the man in the hoodie gave up. With no cash in hand, he walked out of the store, leaving with only the candy bars and ice cream he had picked up earlier. No big heist, no getaway money, just some sweets. Later, the police shared that even though this situation ended peacefully, it's usually safer to cooperate with an armed robber. Well, in the end, what was meant to be a robbery became almost laughable. The robber walked in, thinking he would get away with cash, but left with nothing more than a few snacks and an embarrassing story. Alcohol thief stopped by cashier. On Halloween night in 2022, a guy walked into a convenience store in Horsham, West Sussex. He was wearing a hoodie and quickly got to work. He made his way directly to the counter and over the counter and wrestled with the woman. During the struggle, he eventually managed to grab a few bottles from the shelves. Perhaps in a moment of anger, the man turned back and tried to hit the cashier with one of the bottles. She wasn't defenseless, though. She fought back with a stick. After the fight inside, the man fled the store, but he didn't get far. Outside, the woman's relative chased him down and tackled him in a nearby garden. A neighbor, hearing the commotion, came out to help hold the man until the police arrived. The man, who was identified as 32-year-old Samuel Brown, was soon arrested. He was charged with robbery and faced two counts of assault. In court, he admitted to everything. For his crimes, he was sentenced to 49 months behind bars. The brave stand of a store clerk. Zara Adel, a 21-year-old store clerk, found herself facing down two men in hoodies who walked into her parents' shop. In the video, you can see the men looking down as they try to avoid revealing their faces to the camera. Moments later, one of the men headed straight for the open register, grabbing fistfuls of cash. As he fumbled around, he carelessly tossed his handgun aside. That's when Zara saw her chance. Without hesitating, she grabbed the weapon. It was a bold move, especially since the robber was nearly twice her size. The man wasn't giving up easily, though. He shoved Zara hard against a wall lined with liquor bottles trying to overpower her. But she didn't back down. 
the CCTV footage captured the tense moment as she fought to protect the store. The robber pulled the money drawer from the register, thinking he was about to get away with the cash. But Zara wasn't letting him off that easy. In a flash, she reached for his jacket, grabbing hold and managing to pull the cash drawer out of his hands. There was more struggling as the two of them locked in a battle for control. Eventually, the robber had enough. He broke free and bolted out of the store, leaving empty-handed. Later, Zara shared with local news that she had fired the gun, hitting the man in the shoulder as he tried to escape. Though she walked away with a few minor injuries, Zara stood strong. What could have been a disaster became a story of courage and strength, showing just how far someone will go to defend what's theirs. One punch, one black eye. How did this guy end up with a black eye? Well, let's rewind to the night it all went down. 52-year-old Andre Young decided to try his luck at robbing a store on Northland Boulevard in Forest Park. Armed with a box cutter, he must have thought he had the upper hand. He reportedly told the cashier that they could do this the easy way or the hard way before attempting to leap over the counter. But things didn't go the way Young planned. The cashier, choosing the easy way for himself, hit Young with a single punch that knocked him down. That punch not only stopped the robbery, but left Young with a black eye that you can clearly see in the picture. After knocking out Young, the cashier wasted no time and called 911. When the police arrived, they found Young in rough shape, and the damage didn't end there. A few days later, during his court appearance, Young still bore the signs of his failed robbery attempt. He even had to use crutches to walk. Young faced some serious charges, including aggravated robbery and assault. His bond was set at $175,000. Now, it's not his first time trying to rob the same store either. Back in 2005, he was convicted for using a bat in another robbery attempt at the very same store. Maybe now, after this rough experience, he'll think twice about trying it again. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.